So, do you want to be able to play your Steam games on Xbox? Well, now you can. <laughs> or at least, hopefully you will be able to soon, assuming Microsoft don't lock this down. Currently, the only people who are able to do this are people who are in the preview program on their Xboxes, and specifically people who are in the alpha skip ahead tier of the preview program. And the reason for that is that if you're in the alpha skip ahead tier of the preview program, you should now either have it or will have soon the new version of Microsoft's Edge browser. And the reason that's significant is that the new version of Microsoft's Edge browser, excuse me, allows you to run GeForce Now in a browser window. And we all know if you can run GeForce Now in a browser window, you can play your Steam games through it. Hopefully. And in some cases. <laughs> there are a lot of caveats here. But as you can see, I've got the new version of Edge and you can differentiate it from the old version because it's got that squirrely green and blue icon. But uh, let's just go into it. And hopefully it'll load up because it's uh, a pain in the ass and sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. And it seems to be this time. And as you can see, I've already got GeForce Now loaded up. Now, you won't see this the first time when you go into Edge. Obviously, it'll be, bring up your default Edge window. But if you go into the search bar and you type in HTTPS colon slash slash play dot GeForce Now dot com slash mal or mal, M-A-L-L, and hit OK or A to make it search for that, you should be able to get into GeForce Now. And uh, the first time you go in, you're going to need to log on with your GeForce Now account details. And when you've done that, you should come up with a screen very much like the one you're seeing here. And this is obviously my GeForce Now. And um, yeah, it should work OK, hopefully. <laughs> I keep saying this because it has been very clunky and I've been trying to make this video all morning. But as you can see, it is up there. Now, the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need your Steam account details as well, because the first time you try and run a Steam game, it will probably ask you for your Steam account details as well. So you'll need your GeForce Now account details and you'll need your Steam account details. Right, good. <laughs> Once you've done that, you should be able to go in and play some games. Now, I had Quake 2 RTX up and running earlier, but there was a problem with that because Quake RTX or Quake 2 RTX requires keyboard and mouse. And while <laughs> this version of Edge or any version of Edge will allow a keyboard, it doesn't allow mouse. So that becomes problematical. And what I was finding here is that it actually set it up so that it was using the left thumbstick to look and the left joypad, or the joypad, there's only one, the joypad to strafe and move forward and backwards, which, well, you can imagine trying to play using a, a joypad <laughs> doing that, or a gamepad doing that. It just didn't work. But it was up and running. The other game I tried running was Wreckfest. Now, obviously, Wreckfest is available on the Xbox, so you wouldn't want to do this normally. But it is a game I've tried before, and it's usually one that shows up what can be done and also <laughs> some of the issues that you might run into. So let's just go into that here and uh, see if we can get it up and running. And uh, it may show us some of the issues that you might run into as well. But we will see. It's a loading and then it'll bring up a little button to press down the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Continue. And now I've lost my cursor, which is not good. Ah, right. OK, so it says play. I might have to do this on my. Yeah, I'm having to do this on my keyboard, which probably means it won't recognize the controller, but we will see. And again, it's loading. It says at the bottom there, loading, and then it'll start to do a little countdown. It takes a while. Obviously, this is not going to be as fast as it would be on a on a on a console <laughs> because we're streaming from the net and all the rest of it. But uh, 
Yeah, it's coming down quite quickly. And there you go. It says press enter to start. Now I'm going to press A on the controller and it probably won't work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. No, and it's not working. Let me see if I can. No, it's not having any. So in this instance, I could probably hit. Yeah, I can go in and I can bring it up with the keyboard, but um, I can't actually get it up and running with my controller. So yeah, I can go all the way through and I can get it going, but the controller isn't working. Nope. Can you hear that in the background playing the sound? As you can see, it is loading up. Yeah, but my, you can hear me clicking my controller, but nothing happens. If I click the keyboard, it will though. Yeah, nothing. But see, yes, you can see it's loaded up and ready to go, but it won't run. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm just getting pushed along by a car behind me at the moment. So let's just go out of there and I will try and go back in and see if I can get it running with the controller. And uh, hopefully that will work this time. But this is one of the issues that we're having is that sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. It'll work with some games, it won't work with other games. And Edge will crash, it won't work. So it's not ideal at the moment, but it is early days. But anyway, as I say, let's go back in, see if I can get it running with the controller and show you that it does actually work sometimes. Right, so we're back in and as you can see, it's still in the browser. It says, would you like to make uh, or set Microsoft Edge as your default browser? And uh, we've got Wreckfest here. Oh, it says Black Mesa. So let's just get rid of Black Mesa. For some reason, it's showing Black Mesa. And let's just go back into Wreckfest. And it says continue. So I'm going to continue. All right, so let's just restart here because we were playing it before and it wouldn't let me use the controller. But now it is. It's letting me use the controller. Do you want to restart? So yes. And as you can see, I'm in. And I'm playing with an Xbox controller on the Xbox <laughs> through GeForce Now. And uh, it's running quite well as well. It's not too bad. Well, my driving skills are bad, but, you know, I'm not trying to win the race here. I'm just trying to show you what can be done. And it is working. It is running perfectly well and uh, it looks all right and uh, the the responsiveness is is pretty decent as well and yeah I, I mean I don't know whether it'd run any better on the Xbox Series X I doubt it to be honest I doubt whether the more power under the hood of the X would make a, a great deal of difference because this is streaming from the web but um, or from NVIDIA servers, but you can see it is perfectly playable. And, you know, as I say, it, this game's available on the Xbox, so you wouldn't normally do this anyway, but this it's just a bit of fun. And can you imagine, you know, when they make, you know, keyboard and mouse available for the Edge browser, if they ever do, let's hope they do, then you could be playing your entire Steam library on an xbox <laughs> which is frankly quite crazy but yeah that is well you can see this is cool when i'm getting into the game this is this is uh it's actually fun to play until i do that and i think that's a good place to stop but as you can see i am playing and it still says up the top there, it says, would you like to set Microsoft Edge as your default browser? And, uh, you know, I can bring up all the different controls and whatnot here. Um, I can quit it from there. Yes, I can quit it. A to continue. Quit. Yes. And uh, I can go all the way back and exit. Yes, exit the game. 
and uh, it's going back into Steam. And yeah, we're loading back up into Steam. Eventually it'll get there. There you go. And Wreckfest, let's just go out of that. For some reason, it keeps defaulting back to Black Mesa. I don't know, it seems to love Black Mesa. But um, anyway, uh, that's that. And now just to show you, we are still on the Xbox. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But as you can see, I've got <laughs> Steam games running on the Xbox via GeForce Now. And that's pretty cool. But uh, as I say, it is very clunky at the moment. It's not working perfectly. You wouldn't really want to use this to play games all the time. But with a bit of luck, as the Edge browser gets better and as it becomes available to everybody, it will do. You know, it's going to get better. It's not going to get worse. And then as long as they don't lock it down, we should be able to play our Steam games on the Xbox. And just think, you can buy yourself a, an Xbox Series S for very little money and you've got a, a good streaming box and you'll be able to play Xbox games, Steam games, <laughs> even, even, dare I say it, Stadia games, because that works as well. But I might make another video about that. But anyway, that's me done. I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea and uh, well, let me know in the comments what you think about this. But uh, as I say, I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.